Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about operations with complex numbers, and we're going to simplify. So, if I was given this complex number, 6i to the third power, okay? Well, this one, though, is a little tricky, because <clears throat> we have 6i to the third power. That's really just 6i times 6i times 6i, right? So, some people, once you get comfortable, you can say, okay, it's 6 to the 3rd times i to the 3rd, and go from there, and, which we can. And um, let's do that, actually. So we're going to see how it's broken down, but let's just multiply it out. 6 times 6 times 6. Oh, I don't know, 6 to the 3rd. That's 6 times 36, which is 216. Hmm. So if 216 times 1 reality, instead of i to the 3rd, I'm going to write it as i squared times i. Same thing, right? i, 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 be multiplied i squared times i. And the reason why I separate it by the i squared is because we know i squared is a negative 1. So we have 216 times a negative 1 times an i. Well, negative 1 times 216 is a negative 216, so now we just have negative 216i, and that is our final answer. So let's recap. We're given 6i all to the third power. Well, we know that 6i times 6i times 6i. 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. And i times i times i is i to the third power, or i squared times i. We know i squared is negative 1, right there, and negative 1 times 216 is a negative 216. Brought down the i, giving me my final answer of negative 